G'day mate and welcome back to Jitty Incorporated Propriety Limited. Uh, <coughs> G'day mate and welcome back to Voxel Tycoon with me, JD of Jetty Incorporated Propriety Limited uh, Corporation. Yes, and we're here staring at a little brown patch, which used to be a building that wanted our iron ingots, which uh, we delivered just a little bit too late. So what we're going to need to do is we need to either shut down all the production we just spent a fortune on last episode because it all has an upkeep or we need to find out something to do with it so what we're going to do is we're going to check out research just in case we have something in here that might be able to use iron ingots uh we have steel smelting which needs iron ingots uh wood processing no uh, copper smelting? No. Uh, gasoline engine, which will give us a better truck, which needs iron ore. We're good. We've got to remember that. Actually, no, you have access to wood. Uh, manufacturing, which gives us nothing, but opens up more things in the future. Uh, mining, which needs wooden beams, which we definitely don't have. Uh, roads, roads, steam engine, steel smelting, storages, and research too. So I think we're going to do steel smelting. That's 700k. Maybe not. Uh, maybe manufacturing too. Maybe we're going to send all the trucks back to the depot. We're going to send all the trucks back to the depot. That's the new idea. That's the new idea. That's the new plan. Uh, so I need to find and our fleet manager uh, routes iron bar uh, dep but nope garage yet yeah. garage uh, garage uh, and see they all made a profit they they made some money and then uh, yeah the business went bankrupt anyway. Uh, because yes, they will, and we can see it right now. They're gonna sit right here. Garage, moving the depot, there we go. They're gonna sit right here, which is fine, until we get a few of them and then they'll block the road and then nobody can do a U-turn, nobody can come down this street, which would be bad. In the meantime, yeah, we know. In the meantime, we need to just run the game forward and try and find, well, something else we can start shipping around. Uh, we're doing wood, we're doing iron ore, we're doing coal and iron ore. Uh, and they're just going to fill up the warehouses. Once the warehouses are full, uh, that should stop processing. Maybe the coal trucks would give us a problem. Mm, it's a little, while, a little bit away. We should be okay. Uh, actually, what we might do is we might find uh, coal. So it's going to coal and then it's going to iron. So we're going to actually send one of those to the depot as well. And I'm tempted to pull another one off. Yeah, we've got enough. So I'm going to pull that one off as well. Send them both to the garage. Uh, and yeah, in the meantime, we just need something else to open up for us. Or we can do some more research. Because our lab has access to wood right here. I think we're going to do something that requires wood. Like wood processing. Just so it's done. All right? uh, it's not too expensive. We're also making... We are making decent money still. Uh... Yeah, we are making some decent money. So we can always repay some of our loan. Yeah. No, we still have positive money. We might as well repay it. Sure. And yeah, we're just going to run time forward. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Um, after we're hopefully have something, a new business pop up. Because that's really what we need. Like I, I've... We've got our three little cities running flat out. Uh, economy average. Yeah, well, you need something else to... Oh, or are you telling me there's a business opportunity here? Uh, okay, one of them's upgraded. Uh, okay, town, 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 town. Okay, so 
Hey, wood beams after research. Good news. Guess what? We're researching wood beams. Guess, go away everything. Guess what? You're not in range of logistics. Yeah, of course we're not in range of our building. No, there's no way to pick them up and move them. Okay, so I can move that down here, but instead we need to finish this research, which is... What? Logistics. How are you not reaching... Oh... Okay, so what we actually need... And this is, this is funny, okay? So... Uh, bring back that up. Bring up logistics. So, this can reach logistics. The sawmill can reach to Hayden South. Hayden South can reach to here. But funnily enough, this can't reach there directly. So, the laboratory is... Except from this building? Uh, available in building. Okay, laboratory one, yeah, except from this building. No, you're not getting wood. You're still not getting wood. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to build a warehouse. Uh, and I'm gonna put it, okay, I'm gonna put it here. We're gonna have you accept wood. Uh, and logistics. So I want you to accept uh, output to this building except from this building. So I want you to not to output. So don't send materials back to here. I just want them to come in and then go onto the lab. So the lab should now, you're not ready. Are we out of wood? No. Logistics, oh really? It's still tall short. Yes, remove the warehouse. Try again, JD. Third time's a charm. Okay, you need to move close enough that you can reach the sawmill. Uh, actually, I might move it. Okay, we're going to put you there. Uh, we're going to have you accept wood. Uh, logistics. Well, you're running at least. Okay, so... We have you running. You can now output your wood into a warehouse, which can then either be shipped out via, uh, out to Hayden South or <clears throat> shipped into our laboratory. All right. So that's step number one. Step number two is you're going to need beams. Now, I need to get a move on this uh, so we don't have you go bankrupt before we can actually get wooden beams up and running. But the catch is I don't have any production. So... So we're going to have to work out production again. Uh, I want factories. I can't even build one. Awesome. Um, all right. And that number's going down. So let's try uh, mining. Let's try another sawmill. Oh, wow. It's short. Yeah, we really can't reach that warehouse. Okay. I think we're going to need a third warehouse. All right, let's go for warehouses. Let's put a warehouse in behind the shipping building. And we're going to set you to wood. And then mining facilities. We're going to have another sawmill. We'll pop this one there. So that should give us plenty of wood going into there. We're going to have you logistics wise not output to that building. We're going to have you just output to there and you we're going to have you not Oh. I want you to accept from that building but not accept from that building. So, now wood from here can go in here and it can go into here but it can't go from the warehouse back into the shipping station. Okay, so that should give us wood here. And uh, I need this accessible. No, we're just gonna build some belts at the back. All right, we want a 
Uh... Oh, 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 oh. Wait, Hayden Branch needs to move. Okay, so can we do... We have somebody new here except Iron Bar, which is great because we already have something set up for Iron Bar. So we need to put you... All right, production, one thing at a time. We need a road, which is gonna loop back into there. Then we're gonna put on our freight station. He'll do, uh, which is now uh, Hayden Holt, Hayden Holt. All right, we need to uh, edit that and change it from uh, delete. Change it to there to unload full and then they should all change. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we're gonna set you off, set you off, set you off, set you off. Okay. Get rid of everything on the screen. Excellent. All right, now you have enough coal at the moment. I have two backup coal trucks, but I can repurpose them into something else like delivering uh, wood. I want to turn you... Oh, there's no off button. Okay, uh, we're going to demolish you. Uh, car two. Oh! How does Car 2 feel about things now? Cool. Uh, that was maybe a bit of oversight. All right, I want to loop this road into, can we get a road out there? Nope. Uh, we're going to have to loop this road. Let's just leave it to there. Maybe the city will naturally grow it all the way up to there. Uh, we're going to need a stations, a freight station, Let me drive on the right hand side of the road. So if I put it here, it will happen to loop up to here if I finish off the road. Okay, so we've got that done. We've got that done. Our research is continuing. We're almost finished. All right, we need, uh, oh, you want more iron ore. Uh, we're delivering 75. Okay, so that's, let's fix things real quick. All right. We want our garage. See what I mean about having the garage pinned? It's just one of those little things. All right, we want you to be... Let's retrofit an existing car. All right, so we're gonna change you to do iron ore, apply, and then we're gonna change that to Buggle Buggles North. Older Buggles North? No, I want that one uh, iron ore to bungles north and before we go any further copy because we're delivering 75 over three trucks which is 25 each so it's 100 that's 125 uh, oh and i have no money uh borrow this could go south real fast all right uh Copy you, and then we're going to send you out, you out, and you out. Okay. Uh, yeah, today, this month's income and outgoings are going to be an interesting month. It's all right. The accountant can deal with that. All right. Next up. Yes, we need to have a conveyor unloader thing attached there. And we can reverse the belt straight up. And then I cannot do anything until you finish the research. Really, I need I need the research finished. So we've got what? 15 days? 20 days, 20 days, 20 days, and then research is done. And then we can start doing wood processing. Please don't go out of business in 20 days. Uh, cool. Oh, yes. All right. So you're getting uh, iron bar. 
which we have a warehouse full of. So that's something. Uh, I'm wondering if we're going to actually max out the supply of one of these little buildings. Especially when the trucks come in like that. Wait, there's a lot of trucks coming in and leaving. Sometimes, sometimes. Like this. Uh, meanwhile, we are definitely still very profitable. 280, 22 from passengers. So we're making 300 odd thousand. Our running costs are 10% of that. Our research is 30% of that. Uh, we're making about 200 grand a month, which is which is good money. Good money. Very good money. All right, research is about to finish. Uh, okay, research is done. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to look at how do these factories work. So we have a circular saw. That's very descriptive and very large. Let's put a circular saw there. And we have options of making either wooden beams or wooden planks. Uh, they both take six seconds each and they both produce one for one. And you don't actually tell me how many wooden logs you make per second. Okay, so we're going to put down uh, no, a... Another another thing with Bob, and we're going to put down two of them. I'm hoping it's a one to two ratio. Hoping uh, conveyor belts. So we already know that I can do that, and then play with reversing the belts. So they all go in the right directions. And yeah, splitters in this game are very very easy. You literally just split the belt, and I can T junction off that as many times as I want, and it just magically splits. Uh, so, we're going to do that. Then I'm going to need a conveyor to get it back into basically another warehouse. Um, Alright, what I want you to do is logistics wise. I would like you to accept from this building and I would like you to... Output to that building, but not output to that building. Uh, your logistics, and I want you to, no, your logistics. I want you to not output to that building or output to that building for the moment. And I don't want you outputting to there either. So what I want to do is I want to empty this warehouse. Because that seems like as good a spot as any to put in the wooden plank. Uh, that'd be interesting. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to run the belts to there and to there and to here. Then I'm going to need one of those and we're just going to run the belts. Uh, no, I want to destroy uh, just the tip, which means I'm going to hold down control to get a a cleaner cut and that should start bringing our beams out to there now you have a hundred wood in you I need to ship out and only once that's shipped out can I then I start moving the beams well put the beams in the warehouse and start shipping them out um, which could take a minute Logistics, can you... No, you can't receive. Uh, and you now accept wooden planks. Okay, so that means I need to double up everything somehow. Uh, okay, so we have a couple of saws. If we do factories... Uh, plank... And factories again. That fell. Uh, okay, you're going to have to delete where... Okay. We need a conveyor belt from there to there. 
that much is obvious. And then maybe where are our terraforming options? That's what I want. We'll lower that down. And production factories. I can then put you there instead. We're going to have you do planks. And then I think my easiest answer is literally going to be bring the belt out an extra tile. And you're going to need a separate warehouse. Okay. All right. I know how to fix this. What we're going to do is we're going to put a warehouse here. Nope. Uh, yes. A warehouse here with conveyors a input there uh, there to there to there and then I want to reverse that and reverse that and you are going to receive those things so uh, how do I clear the that removes all the items. I just want to remove the wrong items. There we go. Alright. And then remove that, remove that. Uh, come back into here. Flip those conveyors so they come back the correct direction. You, sir, are going to go into there. We're going to flip those conveyors. And you, eventually... I'm gonna store planks. Okay, so you're not outputting fast stuff, but that's because I broke everything, right? Uh, logistics. Uh, yeah, you're not connected. Can I? T oh, I can tick these. That makes life so much better, so much easier. So I still have 60 wood I need to ship out. But you should now also... Where are you? Uh, so you now have wooden beams. Okay, so again, just get rid of everything. Um, side project. Is there not something in here that requires wooden beams? Mining 2, which gives us copper mines, stone quarries, sand quarries. Nope. Uh... Storage is Mark II. That sounds like a goer. All right, so we'll do that. And we need to buy a new truck, which now needs to move wooden beams, that one. Uh, yeah, money. Uh, just borrow a few, yeah. Uh, so I need you to go from here. Uh, nope, that truck, add stop. Uh, there, load. Full load, and where were you taking wooden beams to? It was somewhere. Haha! -ha! It was there. Unload. Uh, full. And oh, save the route. Uh, beam. And how do I copy? Skip current. So we're going to turn on both those guys. And then to make our life even easier, we'll just do that. So they're going to come here, collect wooden beams from here. And then we're on a right-hand drive. So they're going, to have, they're going to have to drive all the way around in here. Because there's no way to loop. Had I been smart and built a little T intersection, they would have been able to come in, unload, and leave. Well, later problems. Okay, so that's wooden beam started. You're going to start doing planks as soon as you're empty of planks. Uh, of logs, rather. And then logs need to go to... No. Planks. Planks. Planks need to go to... Who was it? One of planks. Redcliffe. Okay, so now we need a drop-off 
for right hand side of the road. Right hand side, it doesn't matter. It's so such a small loop. Uh, can we just lay that into there? And then definitely a freight station. All right, and then find our garage again. Uh, buy another one of these trucks, which is going to go from there. Load. Uh, probably should have been. Yeah, I screwed up. Uh, go to garage. Okay, so I need to go in here and I need to set you to carry planks only. Apply. Cool. Uh, and I need to do the same with you. I need to change that over to beams, apply, and then send you back in. That's a boo-boo. All right. So, this is the one we're working on. Yes. Uh, so you need to, you're retrofitted, you only carry in... Uh, why does it not have the full and the empty tick? Okay. Um, so you're going to come in here, you're going to grab planks, and then edit, uh, full, there we go, and then you're going to bring them down, and you're going to drop them off here, unload, full, uh, save as, wood plank to red clicks, red cliffs, done, done, alright, where is that one, uh, full, unload, unload, yeah, Okay, so I just need 24 wood be gone. And I also need to make sure that 24 wood be gone before you even threaten to go bankrupt. Cool. Uh, 10 wood. And you will filter to that. 6 wood. 3 wood. 0 wood. Okay. So, select an item store, I want you to select that, which also means I want to copy that truck, and we're broke. Okay. Turn you on, and turn you on. Uh, also means logistics-wise, we need to receive from there, and receive from there. You do not go that way. So, we have now wood... Wood wood goes into here and into here. Wood wood goes into here and here. Uh, wood wood goes from this warehouse back to the loading station. Uh, beams go in there and planks can also go in there. And also our laboratory can research, uh, can access both wooden beams and planks. Uh, okay, so that should get you boys up and running. Uh, I don't think we're producing wood wood fast enough now. Uh, going by that pile of trucks, no. Uh, we're also very, very, very bro broke. Uh, hard restore received its first supply. Okay, so we need to look at another sawmill, which is another just cheap 50 grand. Just, just easy done. Easy maths. Uh, which I can't even see where to place it until we can actually afford it. Uh, profit and loss. Uh, the vehicle running cost is, cost is definitely going up. Uh, research is not helping. Uh, we're sort of... We're sort of just floating at the moment. We're not really making any money. Uh, like, if, if these are full now... Well, this one's full at least. So we should be making extra wood to be able to sell, but... Long term, I we're still going to need at least another uh, another sawmill, at least. Yeah, I can't say this month's been a healthy month. Uh, vehicle is unprofitable. Carthu! You. Uh, I found the problem. 
uh, send to garage. Uh, actually, no, if I untick, whoa, edit, if I untick that and click OK, you should, ah, oh, because it was waiting to empty the cargo, it couldn't move. Oh my gosh. So how does that affect our fleet running costs? Uh, yeah, dramatically. All that because we had a traffic jam and I was not paying attention. Uh, well, at least now we know there's a warning if you balls up and make sure nobody earns any money for it. Or a vehicle doesn't earn any money for a month. Okay, doesn't fix this problem. Does not fix this problem. Yeah, we lost money last month. See, traffic jams are expensive, okay? This is why you do not park ships in the middle of the Panama, Ca Panama Ca Canal. All right. Uh, you are not profitable, but I think that's just because... Uh, why is that? Cargo delivered. Oh no, you are profitable. Okay. And 26. No, you're profitable. 30 something. You're profitable. Okay, so we need to check our fleet status. Uh, earnings. Just to make sure nothing else is broken. Coal stats. Show me. You are driving. So you're the one just moving coal back and forth. And the other one is in the warehouse. So you're not meant to be profitable, but you are just, you're, you're literally moving coal around so we can smelt it. So you're meant to be that way. Um, right. And with one fix for traffic jam, we're profitable again. Uh, so profitable. In fact, we can add another sawmill here. Technically, yes. Because it's only going to get the... It only has to hook up to this. It doesn't really have to hook up to Hayden South. Hayden South can access the warehouse directly. Yes. So it just has to export into here. And the fact that this is saying anything other than zero means it's definitely working. Okay. So let's go for beams. Beams. We delivered 70 out of the 125. So in theory we can go to there uh, and we can go to here and we can what do you move around you move stuff okay uh, correct so we're gonna copy that one and send it off uh, now except furniture I don't have that research. Okay, get off my screen. All of you off my screen. $1,000 for furniture. Damn. Okay. What do I need for furniture, please? Uh, okay, we're doing storages. Uh, manufacturing two. Woodworking. Carpentry. Uh, furniture! Okay. Which requires manufacturing, which is one of the ones that requires ironing. It's, okay, so that's not going to happen. That business is definitely going to go out of business before we even get there. Uh, same time, we should probably look at... No, passenger coverage is still okay. Alright. It's just... The, the town is becoming less of a town and more of a city. Alright. Uh, and what was the other one we just hooked up? We hooked up Redcliff, 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 you, planks. Uh, so it looks like we only delivered 30. So that definitely means I want to, I want to go to there. I want to click on that. Uh, so you delivered 15. And you delivered. I, I wish I knew why these were yellow. I'm assuming it's because these are names of like Kickstarters or supporters or something. And that's why their names happen to be in yellow. I don't know. And the game is definitely not clear on 
why things are yellow. Alright. So, we want another car, which, no, close, yes. I intentionally want to copy, because that way it copies across the pre-configuring. Alright, so we're going to send two of you off, and hopefully nothing goes bad. Demands coming out grand next level because the satisfaction is less than good. Okay. How about one of the ones we have been doing for a while? It is good. Ah, oh, so it's a population. So I need to expand the city and then demand will go up. And if demand goes up, hopefully the price goes up. Hopefully. Uh, that'd be ideal. Alright, so we need to get this research done. That's that's full. That's filling. That's doing fine. Uh, you, economy average. Well, you suck. Uh, economy average. And over here. Uh, good! See, this is what we like to see. All right, so what do you need to go up to the next time? Uh, Always in there. So once, so so, we're only delivering 105, uh, 100. Oh, because it's brand new, is it? No, it's a rolling thirty days. Okay, so we're delivering 100 out of 120, which now means now I know that, which is Buggle Buggle South. We can grab another coal truck. The good news is I have this truck here which if we go look at this it should be as easy as pick this up and look for the ones coal to south there we go it lit up so that's the right orders okay go away go away hey we, we've done storages too all right i need to do um Manufacturing requires iron bars, which we don't have, but that would be needed for woodworking. Uh, what else do we, can we do? Uh, we can do... It requires coal, which I don't have here either. Uh, I can do mining too, which is a fairly useless research. Okay, so we're going to have to look at trying to get either coal across here for steam engines but that's still a while away i think we're gonna have to get some iron bars delivered all right hang on uh we wanted to look at uh this the rest of this town so you 145 out of 180 over how many trucks uh 20 40 60 80 100 120 145 so they're doing like 30 each yeah it's already says excellent so i don't think i'm gonna i i think if we just up the coal to here we should get you from average up to great in saying that like this this town is pretty happy it's pretty damn happy uh okay so we need to look at getting um all right, first off, what are we are going to do? We're going to do manufacturing two. I'm going to start that. I'm going to grab a brand new truck, which shall be of this variety. Doing that by, have you had a stop to come to here, load, full, and then unload in theory to here. And you should be able to reach. Uh, research iron ingots. I can't remember if it's the iron ingot, it's iron plate, or what it happens to be. And we now have down here, except sand, which is nice and close and right beside our building, except um, 
I can't access sand. I can't access sand till we find sand, which is, you know, funnily enough, not in the giant sand pit. Uh, it is over here. And I need $1.7 million to unlock that territory. And then I'd have to build a bridge. And oh my god, that territory looks horrible. It's all water and mountains. Uh, that looks like a profitable one to sell to. Uh... That one's iron ore, has wood, and uh, that one has ingots, that has copper, that has iron ore, that has stone. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to have some expansion in the future, but it, it's going to be a while away because 1.7 million is, is not going to be easy to grab, get our hands on, and in the meantime, I just want to... Nope, you are definitely running research. Not quickly but it's running, so I'll take that win. Do we have another trunk? Oh, actually 1.5 million is not that far away, actually. Uh, okay, pause. I'm gonna copy, cause he's right there. Uh, and the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, close the traffic jam last time. Yeah, I'm going to remove that. Uh, edit. I'm going to remove that tick box. So that way, if it, if it can't fully unload, it'll just keep doing its loop back and forth. And only it will become unprofitable rather than everything. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to end this episode here. We've, we've started playing with the belts. We've started playing with the assemblies, that sort of stuff. I think this is where this game is going to be really exceed. exceed. Now... Excel. Excel. That's the words I'm looking for. Now, it is in early access, and I will mention, because it is in uh, it is in early access, as you can see, the building system, not 100% intuitive. It, it, it definitely has some things to be desired. Oh, wow. We're making some money. Okay. So, there's definitely improvements to be... Oh, no. I, th I thought I'd gone into the red. No, I just gone into the lost for the month but that's okay um yeah th there's definitely some improvements we had with just the general building of things um but we'll, we'll, we'll see what else we can find out in the next episode we haven't even got to trains yet trains are gonna be soon i hope i hope anyway all that said i'm gonna leave it here thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next episode of voxel tycoon all right bye